Today we're going to be talking about how to sell shoes on the StockX website. So I'm going to teach you all the tips and tricks. It's a very simple process, but I'm going to help you go through it step by step. And then that way you can learn how to sell shoes and make money as well and never take any L's. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. Now, this is a question that I thought a lot of people already knew the answer to, but I still get this question to this day. So I figured it was only right to make this video. So again, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're old, what's up with you? You already know what to do. Drop a comment down below and hit that like button as you go along this video. Helps out the algorithm oh so much. I picked these up recently the other day, but they were a size 11 and a half. I'm a size 13. So the best way to do is try to sell these or do something else to get them in my size So what I'm gonna do is put these on stock X website and show you the process of how to list the sneaker And then I have another shoe that I already have sold so I'll show you how that process works We'll ship that shoe out and then at the end of the video You guys should have a good understanding on how to do everything from there So the first thing that you're gonna want to do is go to the app store and download the stock X app Once you have that app downloaded then you're gonna go on log in and create an account You can link it to your Facebook page or you can create a new account with a new email What you're gonna want to do is make sure that you have a payment method So if you have a PayPal that is always convenient for me I can get my payments done through PayPal and connect that through there everything runs smooth and seamless so again you can go set up a PayPal account on paypal.com and that is free for you as well and then from there there are fees for transactions and different things like that but there's no actual account fee to have a PayPal so that's a great way to hold your money and transfer it to your bank account or you can pile the money in your PayPal account and make purchases from there and trying to treat that as your business account compared to your normal checking account that you usually would have that's another way for people to manage your money and understand what's sneaker money and what's regular lifestyle money so once you have all that set up you're now gonna be on the home page here and you're gonna see all different types of things like popular brands Jordans Yeezys Nikes Adidas then you're gonna see the most popular selling sneakers that are trending right now what are the hot topic shoes what are those prices going for then you got your newest lowest ask price you got your new highest bids and then you got your release calendar to let you know what's coming up in the future or what just recently dropped so you can understand how to kind of track the market and understand what shoes to buy and what shoes to sell so now people will have the simple question of how do you sell the shoes on the app for me i have this shoe right here the Air Jordan 3 Red Cement Unite, whatever you like to call it. I'm going to look it up into the search bar, and I know this is like the Air Jordan 3 Red Cement. So we have the Air Jordan 3 Fire Red is what they have it listed as. This is not the shy version. Mine is already populated to a size 13, but this is 11 and a half. So I'm going to select the size 13 category, and then it's going to pop up all the different sizes and all the different prices. From there, I'm going to click on 11 and a half. That'll kind of show me what the market is for this shoe and I can scroll down and see the trends of the shoe and what people are selling this shoe at. Typical sales right now are going for 230 close to around that price. So if I wanted to sell this shoe, which I probably wouldn't because I don't think it would be a wise decision, but I'll just show you anyways how the process works. We'll click on the sell button here and then I'll pop up everybody else's bidding prices what other people want to pay for the shoe not what they're willing to sell the shoe for so then i'll click on the size 11 and a half and now i'll be able to see my asking price or the sale now price so basically right now in this world somebody is willing to buy the shoe for 220 dollars if they purchase the shoe for 220 dollars the payout would then be 196 dollars and 47 cents now the retail on the shoe if you didn't pay any taxes or have any fees was 200 dollars so that means you're going to lose somewhere around $3 and some change if you were to sell the shoe at $222. For example, let's just say that I bought the shoe for $200 retail and I wanted to try to turn a profit or at least just make a buck, right? Lowest asking price, which somebody is willing to sell it for $230. So we're going to click on $229 and this is what usually drives down the market. Somebody will say, oh, I'll bid $1 less, $1 less. And next thing you know, they drive the prices down and then the buyers have a chance to get the shoe for a good deal. If I were to sell the shoe for $229, as you see on here, the payout is now $202.67. So I bought the shoe for $200 and now my profit is $2.67. Yay. Right, so you see what I'm saying? Certain shoes show you that maybe it's not worth selling it now, maybe it's worth holding it on later, or if you think the shoe's gonna go down in value, maybe it is worth selling it now because it might go down in value or because it hasn't released yet, you know? There's a lot of factors which comes to another part of the game. So I'm gonna post the shoe for $250 
and that's gonna give me 221. I'm gonna ask over the normal asking price, and then you accept, yes, I have the sneaker box, yes, it's authentic, I'm able to ship in two days once the sale happens, and then I confirm the asking sale. From there now it says, hey, you have successfully listed the shoe for $250. It is now live, size 11 and a half. StockX requires that sneakers are dead stock and 100% authentic. Whatever it is that comes with the sneaker, you have to have everything that comes with the shoe. So you can't just try to keep the hang tag or different things like that. Otherwise, they'll send it back to you and they'll not give you the sale and they'll kick the money back and you won't make any money. And you'll have to pay for shipping. Step number two, it says buyers have the option to bid on your sneakers or buy them immediately. So what that means is just like we saw earlier with the bids, people are able to bid on the shoe to try to get you to accept a lower offer or you can stay firm with your sale price and say, hey, this is all I wanna sell it for. I don't wanna go any lower. And you can wait until the day that that sneaker sells. Sometimes it takes a really long time and sometimes you can overbid what the shoe is worth and people sometimes buy it. So don't always be gung-ho to just go ahead and sell it for that lower price and not make as much money if you're patient and you know that you can afford to be patient and you know the shoe that's going to hold its value be patient and you'll get your money it always works so always try to do that to stay ahead of the game and that way you're never losing any money just trying to say i flipped some shoes yet you didn't turn a profit or you took a five dollar loss for no reason so step number three it says stock x is not an auction so sneakers are not automatically sold to the highest bidder which means yeah they could be one dollar underneath your bid but that doesn't mean there's an expiration date or anything like that once you say yes to those bids then it's a sale but there's never any sale unless you accept that or they buy now on your price that you requested when it comes to your shoes being listed on the stock x app they're normally listed for 30 day period and then from there you have to refresh that listing because it expires and then they want you to repost it again so every 30 days if that shoe has not been sold yet you have to remember to refresh that listing and say hey i'm still looking forward to selling this shoe and that way it lets the app know that you still have it and you're still trying to sell it so that way people don't just put stuff on there and forget about it and then it sells and they don't have it number four the last step it says you can accept a buyer's bid at any time to complete a transaction so people have accepted low low bids before and literally just dump shoes for the very low which can be advantage for you when you're buying sneakers not selling sneakers never sell it for that low low bid right always try to get as much as you can for it but that's another topic in another video on how to get shoes for a steal on StockX and how to get those great deals. But we can talk about that in another video. So we're gonna hit the finish button now and we are going to have a live bid. So now it says your current asking price is $250 and I can update that on the update button right here and change my asking price and go down to match the market. But I know personally, I would like to make more money. So for me, it makes more sense to just let the shoe sit, let it ride, let the numbers do its course. And you know, I can afford to wait on selling this shoe personally i'm probably going to take it down after this app but i'm just using this as an example for you guys because i already have a new strategy on how i plan on trading these for a size 13 when i go to sneaker con so stay tuned for that video as well but that's basically the gist of how you get your shoe listed onto the site how it works how people bid and they can do everything like that and then from there once the shoe sells i'm going to now click on a different category so i just sold these i have a few pairs of these cleats in all different colors and all these different things i say hey i don't need an extra pair so it's easier for me to sell them and i think i can get a good price for them right so i posted them for 250 dollars the fee was 8% plus payment processing fee, another 3%. At the end of the day, my total payout ended up being $221.25. Now the retail on this cleat was like 125 bucks or something like that. So as you can see, I was able to profit almost $100 off of this cleat by just letting it sit over time, letting it sit around. This cleat was selling for, let's go back and look actually, $109, $120, $200, and then my sale recently for $250. So I was patient with the market and I was able to sit around and wait, 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 because I knew somebody else would buy that shoe for that price. I just didn't get you know anxious or needed the money or anything like that, where I drove my price down on myself, competing against myself, trying to get that sale. So if you can be patient, if you can afford to be patient, trust me, it's worth it because as you can see, I was able to make a quick profit of $100 off of a cleat like this and I have multiples of it. So for me, it's a win-win. So let's go now and talk about how to ship it out and how to complete the order and make that money. So the next step is printing the label, getting the shoe shipped out, waiting for it to get confirmed and authorized, 
once it gets authenticated then you get your money paid out to your PayPal and I'll show you how that works so what you're gonna want to do is print the label you're gonna click on label print print label whatever you want to call it then it's gonna show you right here then you're gonna say print shipping label then you're gonna select your printer and you're gonna print that out once you print that shipping label out then you're gonna now take that label put the shoes and the original box into a shipping box you cannot ship just the box you need to ship the box of shoes inside of a box once you ship it inside that box you're gonna take that label put it on top of the box tape it drop it off at the post office once you drop it off at the post office you're gonna wait for two to three days sometimes four days depending on the day that you ship out and they will get the shoes authenticate the shoes and once they are authenticated they will then pay out the money to your paypal account and from there the deal is done you made your money everything is good to go so it's a pretty smooth pretty simple process and if you are right and strategic with how you price your sneakers you can always win because it will show you how much money you get paid out for the price that you're asking for and if you're never ever ever impatient and don't try to drive the prices down like other people do you can be patient you can make some good money off of this app but it's also being wise and being patient so if that was helpful i hope it was uh, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. I have other tips and tricks on how to never lose money and how to always get good deals on StockX. So if you guys want to see those different things, stay tuned for that. I'm going to be dropping some videos about stock and stuff this week. So also stay tuned for those. Show you guys how to get started on investing on not just sneakers, but other things with life, stock, investments, you name it, different things like that with real estate, all different types of stuff. I'm excited to introduce that stuff to you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. My name is DJ. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. <laughs> I'm gone. Peace.